husband. Uh, this is my story about some events during World War II. Um, I was very young at the time, and I think I'll start off before the war, because uh, in 1938, the war clouds were gathering, and, uh, and uh, we, um, all the, everybody had to get a gas mask, and I remember uh, how old was I? About four. Uh, we had to go off and get these gas masks and we had to go through this trailer which had tear gas in it to make sure that your gas mask fitted. And all through the war we had to have our gas mask with us in a little cardboard box and that was with you always. Everybody said, do you have your gas mask? Uh, and then uh, you move on to 1940, and uh, I remember very well the um, Battle of Britain, because my home was about five miles away from one of the big uh, RAF stations where they were fighting the Luftwaffe. And I remember my brother and I, um, we were... Let's see, he was four years older than I, but we would go outside and watch the Spitfires and the Messerschmitts fighting, and we thought it was great, and of course my mother got really mad and called us inside. <laughs> uh, and then of course there were air raid sirens all over the place. So uh, you sort of got used to it, it was a sort of a, a, a new normal, if you will. Um, and talking about air raids, um, I do remember at school, we had of course, lots of air raids during the daytime, and we'd all have to go down to the shelters, which were dugouts, really, and uh, we'd carry on doing our lessons there by candlelight. <laughs> so that's another <laughs> thing. Uh, it was really a very interesting time. Uh, there was a lot of bombing because, uh, you know, we were not far from London. We were what you call on the London Road. And so lots of stray bombs got dropped on their way to London. And at night you could see the whole sky lit up with the flames. It was really remarkable. And we'd come, go to school or come home from school and pick up shrapnel. <laughs> well, that was a great game, you know. <laughs> oh, look what I've got. I've got a bigger piece than you have. So, uh, so I don't know. It was kind of turbulent years. And I was, I was too young to fully appreciate just how ghastly it was. I was very fortunate because my father uh, was exempt from service because he was a pharmacist. And um, he was older so he could stay home. So we were all together uh, and we stayed in that area. Um, quite a lot of our friends were evacuated and early in the war there was a, a move to uh, um, send children overseas and my mother thought about that but fortunately, unfortunately, that's how shall I put it, um, one of these ships on the way to the States was bombed and after that, of course, they, they stopped it. Well, it was sunk by torpedoes, I should say. Uh, and in a way, it was a blessing because those who did go, they were so small that they really didn't have any memory of their real family. And after the war, when they came home, it was very difficult to reunite because they'd grown up elsewhere. Uh, what else would you like to know? Um, can you tell me about one specific memory that sticks out in your mind? Were you ever really nervous or any, really scared at any point, or was it just so normal that you didn't? It was so normal that you didn't, you just accepted it. Wow. I, I don't recall anything particular. Wow. You know, it's, it was kind of a new normal. <laughs> so once the war was over, was the normal, since the normal switched back to more of a safe, was that an odd um, transition back to regular life after the war? Was well, it wasn't very regular after the war because there was so much... Britain was absolutely done in uh, financially mm -hmm. after the war. And as a matter of fact, the rationing after the war went on to about two... I don't think it finally finished about 1952. Things were very short supply. And, uh, you know, it was... Uh, 
it was still a hard time. The only thing was that you knew you had one and there was no farming. Yeah. But life was pretty hard. It was, it was very hard to buy things and get things, you know. Mm -hmm. And a, a lot of uh, rebuilding had to be done. I think that's very interesting because I always think, you know, oh, Germany lost, so they were in very hard financial situations, but I never thought of the financial aspects of um, people in Britain who won, you know? That's very right. interesting. Right. Well, of course, it was much worse in Germany. They, I mean, after the yeah. war, that they, they was simply ghastly. Uh, thank heaven for the Marshall Plan. <laughs> uh, but, no, it wasn't easy. And, in fact, funnily enough, uh, on the continent, they seemed to... Um, get the food going more easily than we did <laughs> but uh, that's the way it was um, so do you do you like when you when it was over did you come with like a better appreciation for life or were you just really young so it was just something you accepted or do you think it's changed your life in any way oh it I think for all of my generation who went through it I think it had it's impacted our outlook on life mm -hmm. definitely because it was rather exceptional times. Mm -hmm. I think you always lived, I don't know, you just uh, lived for the day, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's awesome. about it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Turn it off real quick.